how to create an interactive and dynamic chart in Excel that changes the colors whenever the values in the data set change. So this is what we're going to see in today's video, how to create this modern looking bar chart in Excel that I hope can help you on a daily basis or also to help you create a presentation with the Excel or to create a dashboard with Excel. So let's find out how can you create this chart in Excel step by step. Let's go. First of all, to create any type of chart in Excel, we need to have two different informations. The first one, the category, and the second one, the values. As a category, we can have texts, numbers, anything that you would like to use. And as the values, you can have numbers, percentages, currencies, or fractions, or on and on. With those two informations, we can already create the chart. However, as we want to create an interactive chart in Excel that's going to automatically change colors, it's important to use some other columns to help us. Let's say some helper columns. The first column to the, to the right, I want to use as the name red, because it, here is where I want to input all the values that are going to be highlighted with a red color. The second helper column is going to be yellow, and the third one is going to be green. As the red, I want to highlight the values, all the values that are less than 40 maybe, okay? So less than 40. Equal sign, and to do this automation, I can use the if function. Equal sign if, double click here, one, two. The logical test, the first argument I can have if the value to the left here is less than 40, comma, I want to have as result the value itself. So cell C3, comma, if not, or if the criteria is not met, I want to have a error. That is going to be the hash sign or the pound sign in slash A. Close parentheses and then enter. Okay, we're done here. Let's click in the, in the bottom right corner of the cell. Click, hold, and drag down to make sure all the rows contain the same function. And as you can see, whenever the criteria is met, I'm going to have as result the same value. But uh, whenever the criteria is not met, I'm going to have an error. And uh, that way, we're going to be able to create the bar chart and uh, represent the bar with the value when we have a value and when we have an error. We're not going to have a bar chart. Okay, so this is how we can create different colors. As the yellow equal sign if function again, but at this time, as the criteria, I want to have if the value is greater than or equal to 40, drama, I want to use as result the value itself. If, if it's not true, else I want to have the arrow as we learned it before. Close parentheses and then enter. Let's go here now to the green, and then we click and bring everything down. The green one can be equal sign if function if the value is greater than or equal to 80 trauma i want to have the value itself else i want to have a narrow close parentheses and then enter now let me select both cells in the in the bottom right corner i click hold and drag down like this yeah and we're done now the last thing that i want to create here as the helper column maybe in the column g i want to use an, an outline this outline is going to be responsible to the limit, the area of our bar chart. And as the outline, the number, I want to input here 100. So why is that? Why I need to use 100? Because 100 is potentially the maximum number that I can have in the values. I know that uh, currently I have 91 as the, the maximum value, but uh, potentially the maximum one is 100. So this is why I'm using 100, because it's the maximum value that I can potentially have. Now with everything done, I can select first the categories, and then I'm going to press and hold the control key here in the keyboard. And now I can select the rest, red, yellow, green, and the outline. I don't need to select the values itself, because we basically take the values and we create the red, yellow, and the green criteria. So we don't need to use the values itself. Now I can go to insert, and then I go to the charts, and I can select the chart that I want to use or in this case, the bar chart, click here, like this. I can click in the chart, hold and drag to the left. And I can also click here in this little circle, click, hold and drag to the right to increase the area of the chart. And yeah, we're done. Let me click in the, in the title, in the header and delete this option. Also in the grid line, I can select and read it off the grid line. As you can see here, the categories is in an inverted order. Instead of have January, as the first category, I have August as the first one. And January is the last option. And the second to last is February. And then March and on and on. So I need to invert 
the order that I have here as the category. To do so, let me right click in this legend, format axis, and here to the right, I can select the option, um, this one right here, categories in reverse order. And yeah, now it's better. As we can see, uh, now in the chart, let's understand the chart. Let me close this right panel. The outline is are being represented by this yellow bar right here. How I know that? Because the legend that I have here in the bottom, and also because all the yellow bars are being represented with the same size. So I know it's in 100. Look. So this is the outline. As the outline, we can now add create something different. So let me double click here in, the, in this yellow bar or right click, format data series. And here to the right, let me increase this panel. I can go to gap width and make the, uh, and reduce this number right here, decrease the number. Maybe I can use 60 just to make it thicker or maybe 30%. Yeah, I think it's better. Now let me go back here to effects, shadow and choose the first option like this. Now I can go to fill and line, fill, no fill to make it transparent. And as the border or the outline, I want to use a solid line with a black color. And the width, I want to use maybe two like this. Now we can close this panel. And I, if we go back here to the chart, now we can see the outline of the chart. Now the second step that we can do here, uh, the outline is done, is let's take here March as an example. I have in the March category, multiple bars for the same category, orange, gray, the outline, and also the blue bar. But instead of have multiple bars for the same category, maybe I can put one in front of another because that way we're going to create the effect of changing colors. Let me right click in any column that I have and then I go to select data. And here is very important to organize with the proper order. Uh, the main one is going to be the green. So the green is to be on the top of everything else. Let's click in, in the green. And then uh, here in this up arrow, I can move up like this. The head one can be the last option. Or sorry, the outline is going to be the last option. The yellow is going to be in the middle. And then red and then outline. So I can click OK. As you can see, we changed something a bit. Now let's click out the chart in a cell. And then again, right clicking any bar. Format data series. And now with this right panel, I can use the series overlap to 100%. Because that way we can put one in front of another like this. Now we have charts that are automatically being, that are going to automatically change colors. Let me click now in the in these numbers that I have at the top. Click here. And instead of using until 120 as the value, the maximum value that I can have is 100. So I think there is no necessity to use this space. Maybe we are just a wasting area in the chart. So I can go to this last option, axis option. And as the maximum, I can use 100. Enter like this. OK. Now with these axis options right here, let me click in the dial arrow. And I want to choose the series green. I want to go to fill and line, border, no line, fill, solid fill. And I want to choose here a green. You can select a standard color that Excel gives to you, but I want to choose more colors to have access to different colors, such as maybe a green like this, like this one right here. OK. Now I can go to series options again and choose yellow. As the border, I want to use no line. And as the fill, solid fill, I want to choose a yellow color, maybe this one right here. And the last option is going to be the red one. No line as the border, as the fill, solid fill, more colors, and I want to create my own red color. Maybe I can use this one. OK, I can close this panel now. And as you can see, everything is almost working. Something that is maybe being missing here is the green color. Because let's take March as an example. March is a value that needs to be represented with a green color. And as you can see, because March, the value that I have is 91. And 91 is greater than 40. It's also have here the number in the yellow column. But uh, because it's also greater than 80, it has uh, its number in, in the green column. So we have a problem here. How can I, let's say, overlap the green instead of using the yellow? Let's go back to right click here in the, in the bar chart and go to select data. And let's try to change something here. Let's take the green and move it down. And I'll move it up. Did you see what happens? So when I move the green down, 
I have the correct result. So let's just stick with this option. Yellow, green, red, and outline. Let's click OK. Yeah, we're done. Now we have an automatically chart in Excel that can automatically change colors. And whenever you change any value, the chart is going to automatically change for you. So let's take maybe February as an example. As a February, I want to use 10 as result. Enter. And as you can see, the February now has a small, a smaller bar. Instead of using 10, I can use 50. Enter. Now I have a yellow bar, a larger one. And I can also use 99. Enter. I'm going to have a green one. So this is how we can create a dynamic and interactive chart in Excel that can automatically change colors. I hope this video can help you out. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below. And I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.